everybody. Yes, you see this correctly. We are playing Minecraft. I created a world for us and I've been wanting to do this for a while. So let me know if you think anything to improve on. But for now, let's get down from this tree and just try to fall asleep while playing some Minecraft, everybody. Seriously, let me know your thoughts. And yes, I did give a starting chest, just because why not make things a little simple. So we have, yes, we must chop down a tree because that is what you always do when you spawn into a Minecraft game. Um, what was I gonna say? Let's just go back and let's go back a second. So I've been wanting to try this out for the longest amount of time and I thought, let's just do it and see what people think. So if you'd like more of this, please just, as cliche as it sounds, hit the like button or whatever. I, you know, I don't like saying that too much, so it just really helps me know if you like this type of of stuff and I will keep it delivering for all of you. Okay. I have no idea where to head, so let's just if we die, go this way on the torch, and you'll have to remember it, because I bet I will forget. Okay. This game has changed so much since I played it last. Just kind of crazy. And I just always enjoyed the little ambience of this game. Is that a cat, a cheetah, leopard? What the heck? Anyway, this game was so easy to play for several hours when you got into it. And I just want to see if it helps relax you, get you some a good night's of rest. Because I know I've fallen asleep to people playing Minecraft, but, um, at first, like they always screamed in the videos at some point, and don't you worry, I will not be screaming at all, but, yet, yeah, I'm gonna get fairly repetitive at first, but don't worry, we'll get into our little groove momentarily. Okay, we gotta get some meat some sheep to make a bed as well. So as we look for a village, that is goal number one. Oh, if I didn't say so already, this world will always be like the default setting survival, normal difficulty, and whatever the presets are. Okay, let's see what we have on our persons, shall we? We got some logs, a cactus for some reason, raw chicken, watermelon. Boy, I love myself some watermelon. I'm not even joking, I could probably eat four whole watermelons in one sitting. Um, we got enough to survive, but just a little more sheep, or wool, I should say. Share. 
So I'm going to get into a little story of how I came into playing Minecraft. I know, so invigorating. Oh my, good thing I checked. So, I believe back when I was in, like, middle school, or so, yep, yeah, out there, that's when it was really popular. And kind of because it was overly popular, and I thought this game was too simple. Why am I going to play that? You know, Call of Duty's a thing, so I chose to go that route. And I believe, like, near junior year, I'd say. No, uh, let's see. That way. I tried playing it in high school, and I was like, whoa, I get it now. It's kind of like Lego, but not. That's like the worst way to describe Minecraft, but also the best way. Um, and I just found myself, you know, doing the stereotypical thing. Punching a tree. Make, trying to struggle, or not trying to struggle, but struggle to make weapons. Find a stay, safe place to stay and figure out what to do. And, boy, the first time I did not expect to see a creeper and it blew up on me, that was not the most fun thing, I'm not gonna lie. I may have peed a little. No, I'm just kidding, but I for sure kind of like gave a little scream. Yes, a almost grown man screaming from a pixelated green creature. Is that a turtle? That is a turtle, by gosh, this game. What will it do next? Anyway. Yes, the little llamas, I remember that. Got scared by a creeper. But I noticed that if I kept playing Minecraft, I'd so easily get enveloped in the world and kind of lose track of like, not school, but just kind of, for lack of better words, waste my time. Because I was into sports and hanging out with friends, I didn't want to become too much of a homebody. I like this place. We are claiming it. And this will be known as Apeville. Right, piggy. Another little pig. Hey, get back here. See if they have anything interesting in their chests. Oh wow. Did not expect that. Learned my lesson. 
lesson from that a while ago. Are those zombies already? Okay, looks like we're starting to rumble already. Oh, this isn't fair. Two versus one. Oh my goodness. For a second, I just, um, held down the R2 button or right bumper just to see if it could kind of, like, hold the attack, and it did not work. Whoa, that was a bit louder than I thought it should have been. Hey, get out of here. Jerk. Okay, um... Do I have any food? Yes, potato. Whenever you're hungry. It's always nice to get a good old potato. Oh yes, watermelon, that should help.
feel free to let me know because as much as I've played this game, I haven't really played this game if that makes any sense. Like I do the simple things, you know, just build stuff, not really do like the end, nether portals. I'd always get caught um, going in caves looking for gold, diamonds, and that type of thing. So I have no idea what to do to go beyond that. Like, I will struggle with the simplest things, but I'm always willing to learn and try something new. And I'm glad that we have the old school music in here. Because when I used to play with my girlfriend a bit when we got bored during the pandemic, um, we'd play this and the new music wasn't as good as the this. I'm guessing that's more of a nostalgic thing, but I don't know. It just fits me better. Say, ah, when you fall from a high distance in a video game, 
Are you even a person? Like seriously? That's crazy. Alright, bed. Um. Oh yeah, we need a chest. Get rid of some more stuff. God, do these guys ever shut their mouths? My goodness. It's like they're interested in everything that they say to each other. And those of you who, um, you're probably going to learn a little bit, not learn, but kind of get a new side of me from watching these videos. If this continues, if you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get rid of the plants first because that's just decoration. The cactus, the next we'll get to the seeds. Then food. We'll take the bread on second thought. So we'll keep watermelon and bread on us. I think that's enough to keep us good. Get rid of that. I believe we're ready to make ourselves a pickaxe or something. Uh, not a pickaxe, like a stone pickaxe. And sword, so we can go a little deeper in wherever we go. But the question is, where do we start? sidetrack so easily in this game. I, I know I can't be the only one in that regard. It goes, decides like, you know what? I'm gonna go mine for diamonds and then you end up killing probably a hundred pigs. I mean, um, not, not that. Um, what's the harvesting? A hundred pigs. Yeah, that's a better word. Ooh, what's this? Alright, our first little exploration begins. I probably should have made a shovel, but what the heck? Is that... Is it nether stone? No, obsidian. That must sound so dumb to people who play this game a bit. I even disappointed myself for not knowing that. Flint and steel, a golden shovel. More flint, fire charge, no idea what that's for, and a golden axe. So there's a shovel that I was asking for as the sun falls down. And yep, that looks like that's some obsidian. It is a moo moo. So let's harvest the moo moo and the sheep oh my goodness would you look at that goodness graciousness all right looks like we're gonna level up a bit
I hear him. What a jerk. Just going for a late night dip. They gotta shoot me with arrows. My goodness, why are there so many enemies? This is supposed to be normal. I play on hard or whatever it is. And there are never this many. this what's going on um, you know what we found our cave we're just gonna take a little bit of cobblestone and continue our journey another night so as long as things don't go south quick. That's gonna be it for tonight, everybody. Once we get back to the, to Apeville, all will be set and stone. If you'd like more, please let me know. Um, what you'd like, what you think you could do better, any improvements if the audio is good, the balance between everything. Yeah, you know the good old deal at this point. And let's at least break this pickaxe so we don't have a wasted axe in inventory. Dang, I usually don't remember them working this long. Breaking down. 
his axe. There it is. We got every stone, so let's get our butts out of here. And we will be back to this another time. I swear if there's a creeper up there, just wait for me. Okay. Oh, it's gonna suck. Like, if there's a time I die in a cave, because that's pretty much inevitable at some point. Or I don't know how to get back. I'm just kind of lost for a while. Anyway. We're almost back home, everybody. With some turtles. Our little unusual village of people who just like to grunt at each other. We'll be needing that later. Should I hit him? Should I hit him just for fun? Should I? No, we're not that dumb. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, now for sure, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have yourself a peaceful and relaxing remainder of your night. I won't touch this game until... It, we come back to it, maybe, so you know how it goes. Until next time, except you, I hope you all stay safe and eat your fruits and vegetables.